Peter had taken care now to make the one mortal. Andy Brock would be in a world of hurt for a long time, but it wasn't intended to be fatal by any means. With any luck, though, it would be fatal for the symbiote because of the tonality. Peter's eyes widened in shock. Whatever the symbiote had done to him, it didn't compare with what it had done to Brock. It slithered off him, in response to the sound of salt, but it left nothing behind. All that remained of Eddie Brock was a smoking skeleton, and Spider-Man couldn't help but wonder in horror if Brock had even been prison at all. It might well have been the alien creature all along, talking and acting the way it believed Eddie Brock was supposed to. The gelatin in his black goo reared up, forming a hideous face with gleaming fangs and serpent-like tongue. That absorbed the materials of Eddie's form and fashioned it into its own rudimentary body. An armored tentacle or some sort of appendage emerged from its morphous structure as it snarled. Never one what you can't kill. Snared Spider-Man by the leg and started to draw him forward. It opened its mouth impossibly wide, ready to swallow Spider-Man whole. At that moment, a disparate Peter spotted a sling suspended from a crane. The sling was holding what appeared to be hundreds of steel rods. He fired a web line, snagged it and yanked with all his might. The sling tilted wildly, dumping out steel rods, which in turn struck against the girders as they fell. A virtual hellstorm storm of 80 ringing rods pierced the creature in rapid succession, the sonic vibrations ripping it apart bit by bit. The symbiote sizzled evaporated, and Peter was sure he heard the creature screaming in protest as the last of the black goo burned off into an inky smoke. Thanks for listening, and greetings to the subscribers of Sense of Pictures, Goodby, and release the Raimi Cut.